Now we're going to construct a rectangle from the diagonal. So I'm going to go ahead and make a segment. So this is one diagonal here. Now with a rectangle, I know the diagonals have to bisect each other. Why? It's a parallelogram. So I need a midpoint because that's what tells me my diagonals bisected. The other thing I need is to have both diagonals be congruent. Now there's a nice way to do that without um, trying to get really tricky. If I make a circle from C to A, then I know that A going to C to B, that A to C is the same as C to B because they're both radii. So I'm going to try and do a line now through point C. I don't really care where this other point is. That's not really part of my um, well, I'll actually, let me go ahead and undo that. Let me put it on the circle somewhere. So I'm going to do a line that goes from C to some point on the circle. It'll, the reason I did that is it'll make it easier to adjust. Then I'm going to find out, now why did I do that? Well, D, C to D will be the same length as C to A and C to B. And then this length here, wherever this intersects, that'll be the same. So my diagonals will be congruent and they will bisect each other. So let me go ahead and intersect the circle and the line and I get the double point here again, but I don't want that point. Let me do algebra, view algebra. I want my blue point. There's my blue point. Okay. Now I can hide my circle or I can keep it. And I'm going to hide my line because I don't need the line. And if I can put the segment, don't need to, but I will. And what you should notice is that when I make a polygon from here, from A to D to B to E to A, that it's always going to be a rectangle. Now, can I adjust? I should be able to adjust the length of the diagonal and that adjusts the length of the other diagonal. I can change the point D so that changes the uh, basic length of, of both the sides because the diagonal angles are really changing here. I'm changing this angle when I turn it. So I can make it a very uh, uh, small width here on the rectangle or almost an equal width. So this will always be a rectangle no matter where this point uh, D is. And it's constrained because it's forced to make uh, this length here. It's definitely going to be the same length there because they're both diameters of this circle.